इस पोशाक में भाषा भी बदलनी पड़े वर्ष क्या चाहते हो <laughs> हम बहुत प्रसन्न हैं ये <laughs> गुरुजी आदि शंकराचार्य वज सन्यासी एंड येट ही इस्टेब्लिश वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ पूजा एंड वर्शिप वट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ आइडल वर्शिप इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी अ रिसेंट बॉलीवुड फिल्म हैज शोन दिस इन बैड लाइट just imagine there were no idols at all in this country no temples no photographs no paintings the mankind would have been in a big loss just imagine there was no sculptors you would never have known what how the people in the past have looked just imagine there was no michelangelo no painting there was no ravi verma as no painting of any sort the world would be such a dull place similarly just imagine the world without any music any dance or any festivity you know these people who are systematically attack the values of the society or the culture of the country they are into some mischief i tell you they say all ashrams are bad you can't put all ashrams into one basket and say they are all hopeless you can't say all temples are simply making looting money what do these people do what do the bollywood do each of those actors sometime they come and sneeze in the camera in front of the camera and take crores of rupees for wigs advertisement they had to come and just sneeze two times that's it if the two three crores they take home and what do they do drink go for drugs and drinking partying and waste money whose money they have is public and that to poor people go for entertainment pay so much money hard earned money and this money is in crores go to the pockets of these bollywood actors and actresses and their lives i tell you miserable it is misery in bundle and immoral unethical behavior they may talk about ethics but if you see their personal lives you, you can't find ethics mo- mo- most of them many of them and they say there should be no idols there should be no pujas don't go to satsang dahi handi mat karo are dahi handi is a beautiful festival remembering the lord krishna's uh, life story and people enjoy holi is a festival ganesh is a festival these festival bring color to the society that is what is what india is just imagine no temple at all no murtis at all no no figures at all it won't be india you know it will be like afghanistan where 2000 year old bamyana buddhas were destroyed what is there just desert no these people have ulterior motives and they take they want to take the country towards nationalism because they don't want ethics and religion to blossom and what they do they take religion and beat up the religion this is a new uh, trend that has come up in the society you know how uh, how this politician do you know they create their own enemy and make them stand against them and they go on abusing the politician so all those who are against politic the politician will go to that guy who is his enemy and then after he wins the election and then he takes them within themselves this is what happened see ncp what is ncp they all they went away from congress 
and the people voted them because they were not with Congress and they joined back Congress. First they deceived Congress, then they deceived the people. And what happened to Praja Rajyam in, in Andhra Pradesh? This famous actor, ah, the famous actor was made to stand against the Congress party and people had a, got big hope. Oh, this guy is going to give a change, it was going to make a difference. And all that opposition vote, he cornered, he got them, which would have gone to another party. And then what happened? Six months later, he went and merged with the Congress. These are deceptions. Similarly, you will see in Bollywood, anybody wearing a tilak will be a villain. Yeah. Someone with a little choti, he must be a bad guy. So they bring the dignity of people who are practicing the ancient wisdom or religion into a very bad light so that the young people can move away from that. The more young people move away from the traditional values, they can make them susceptible for drugs and alcohol, cigarette. All these lobbies work towards them. Because what stops youth from using drugs, I tell you? It is their religiosity. So when a youth is away from religiosity, the drug markets flourish very well. And this is the whole lobby that is working. The drug lobby, alcohol and cigarette lobby, and the Bollywood. Do you see that? Do you see the market, how it is going? People who go to temple or gurudwaras, a church or any religious bent of mind people, spiritual bent of mind people, don't go to drugs. And first you have to cut youths from you going to these places. Then they can influence them to come and take the drugs. That is how they have done it. And you know, a large percentage of Punjab has been addicted this way. It's unfortunate. It's so painful to see a community like Punjab who are so robust and vibrant is going in this direction which is self-destructive. And children, Art of Living took a very bold step in filing a case against the eraser, you know, eraser ink, typewriter eraser ink, banning that, went to Supreme Court and got the order in our favor. It's all done by Art of Living volunteers. Because this eraser, you could get it in any shop. And the children, kids used to take it, sniff it, and you know, use it to get high. So we...